morning guys <coughs> sorry I'm losing my voice today um Steve Alex and I are off to the urologist just to have a check up for a while I've woken up my eyes really puffy but it's like half past eight <coughs> in the morning then it was sleeping so thank you um, I just feel really really hucky Oh, man. Hopefully, no one else gets it because Steve's parrot's are coming down in about <clears throat> three weeks, I think it is. Yes, fingers crossed it doesn't go around the whole family. But I've had it for a couple of days now and I'm so over it already. Um, I just want to show you guys, too, something. This is not really how I plan to show you, but why not spontaneous live in the moment whatever so this is where my chair lives like every every night so it's actually backwards to me because of the way i get into my chair <laughs> so we've <clears throat> got my box of tissues and stuff there so what happens is i god it's just making a lot of noise out there i have to when i sit up i have to turn myself around so my back is towards the window which is directly behind the camera on the left side of the bed I have to get out that way I don't know what it is um, it's just easier for me I guess because of the way my legs are um, I can easily pop my right leg I could use my right leg out a little bit to anchor myself and I kind of like do the splits a little bit I have my left leg on the bed and then my right leg on the chair and then I have to like push up on the bed and then I can go across so that works but I just want to show you my situation a little bit it's just, just a little snippet if you guys want to see a little bit more comment down below and let me know what you want to see me do um, and I'm sure I can figure out how to do it in a video whether it's me holding the camera or Steve or Hayley or somebody just so that you get the full angle of everything so you never know there could be thousands of things that you guys can think of like I can think of a couple of things um but I just do them and don't think oh that's different to everybody else I just do them <laughs> so <coughs> you guys might have more ideas than myself better get up because my appointment's at 10.15 and if I lay here any longer, I'm going to be late. I'm sucking on a bad menthol because I wake up in the morning and I have like no voice. <coughs> I don't think there'll be many vlogs this week if this is going to continue. So this may be the only vlog for this week. I'll try and get something else out if I can. We'll see what happens. Depends if my voice goes back to normal or not. And I don't feel really lucky. It's just me now that has to get up and get ready. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, that sun. Seriously. That doesn't help. I'm too short. So what, about half an hour later we were in the car, we are running late. By the time we get to the car park and... You know. We'd be a spot on number three, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> Just a ramp, yeah. But knowing how like it won't. Because... I don't know, this car park, our Girl Street car park, just sucks. So, we'll see how... We go for timing. Fingers crossed we actually make it. Oh my goodness, we might actually make it just, depending on this traffic. This bus was undecided whether it was broken down and had his hazard lights on for a minute, didn't he? It was really weird, I don't know. But we're just about to turn the corner to go to the car park. Um, 
10 15 my appointment is yeah so. well traffic's banked up around the corner here so is that yeah. oh, oh no 10 o'clock so we've got 15 minutes to get into the well 10 minutes to get into the car park two three minutes to get out of the car mm. Oh, I can hear the bells. Yeah, I know. The, the um, church bell. Thing. Come on. Hobart doesn't have traffic jams. Like our traffic jam is what, maybe five cars? Ten cars? <coughs> it's not like Sydney and Melbourne. Give take. But for some reason, someone's being silly around the corner. I can't see. Moving but slowly. I know. And there's another light change too. Oh yay, now we got a red light. Now we have to wait even longer. Still waiting. <laughs> yay, we're moving. I reckon we'll find a spot about ten past. Well, not early at least, because it's a brand new appointment. Oh clever. What? No, oh, she pulled, she went out and around. Oh, did she? Yeah. I don't, we've had a few people try and squeeze you. Hi, boss! Hi, boss! Hi, boss! Bus, yeah, bus. Bus. <laughs> he can't quite say the word, but he almost gets there. It's not Hayley's bus, though, it's a different bus. Hi! Hi! My glasses keep making an indentation on my nose. I don't know why all of a sudden they're doing that. They weren't before. Maybe nose is blurry. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, boss, you said it! Good boy! Yay, you said it! Good job! Boss! Yay! Nope. Oh, seriously. At least we're at the front now. Mm, now we are. <laughs> 11 minutes past 10. Well, it's at 9.57 we were sitting around the corner. So that's how long it's taken us to get, like, literally one, two, three, four, five car spaces. That's it. So it's that long. T 12 past I don't 10. I get it. There's like two lanes open down at the... Right. Unless, unless one's closed. I don't know what which wouldn't doing. shock me. I don't know what they're doing, but it's starting to really get to me now. It's so annoying. Now we're definitely going to be late. Yeah, I know. Should I ring them? Well, if you don't, if you want to. I might do that. And just say, we're coming. But we're just stuck in the car park. Mm. Right, I'll ring them now then. 18 minutes past and we're finally here. I just tried to ring, but no one's answering. So we're just going to run for it. Ready, steady, go. Right, ready? Yeah, you did. So I came in here thinking that I was for my chunt, but we've been talking about my back. So, I don't know. We did mention my chunt, though, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And he's gone to see it, talk to a <coughs> surgeon or something. <coughs> I don't know. Because I couldn't really give him dates of when I had things done because I don't remember a lot of it. So we'll see how this know. goes. But Alex is just sitting here. You can probably hear him chewing. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff in your face with grapes, huh? Yummy. Say so yum, yum, yum. Um. Yum. One in each hand, both in the mouth. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, so, I don't know, it's 11 o'clock, I think, around about, yeah. oh no, yeah it is too, it's about 11.04, 11 I don't even know like what we're going to talk about exactly because I haven't had scans done or anything for it, so it's just a, I don't know, a pre-appointment, I guess, and then go and have the scans done, and then probably come back. It's the only thing I could think that they would do, wouldn't they? 
it will open if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Hi. I just did my don't want my back done again because. Hi, 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 hi. Great. I, that was the worst operation I've ever been through. That was so painful. It felt like three months, probably more. Right, put the lid back on. I was in that much pain. Couldn't move, couldn't do anything. So this could be interesting. It could be interesting. It's okay, so we're going to need in home now permanently until you're ready. I know. Well, so that's why Nan moved in with us when I was little, I when I had this done, because my mother and father couldn't look after me and work and look after my brother too, so. Finally, we're on our way home. 23. There was like a young guy. I don't reckon he would have been older than 18. He didn't look like it, did he? Oh, at least 23, 24. I don't know. He didn't look very old. Um, and he just was kind of confused because obviously I haven't had scans on my back or my shunt for a very long time. So he didn't really know what to do. So he went and got a senior doctor and the senior doctor came in in the last like five minutes and just said that what? Broke, don't fix yeah, it. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you really want to have scans done, just so that whoever deals with me later on, if I do have symptoms again, like the headaches and stuff that I was having before, or the back pain, like after I had Alex, if that stuff comes back again, then they can at least see what my spine looked like at this point in time. So they're gonna not do an emergency one, whether they would or get a rush. They've got something to draw a baseline from. Yeah, they're not going to rush the um, CT scans and stuff, so that's good so I can go and have them any time. But the sooner I get them, the better. If in the near future, or a long way down the track, something happens, then they've got a baseline to go from. So it was kind of like, was it really worth going all this way to sit there for how long? Exactly. A little over an hour. Exactly. And we just went and bought Alex two pairs of new shoes. They were both on special. They're so cute. I don't have them at the moment. They're in the back with him. He's playing with them. Um, yeah. He just really needed some new shoes. So we just went into Target and bought them. And now we're on our way home. He should be going to sleep very soon. He's very tired. He's very relaxed. You can see him in the back. Hi, Baba. It's done already. Oh, he's due. Oh, baby. That was easy. We weren't even out of the car park. Like, we can have a decent three minutes. Yes. Hopefully, he'll sleep the whole way home, too. Oh, he will. 